Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Snoop's Munchy Meal from Jack in the Box. I just made it to Jack in the Box. They have this huge poster of Snoop's Munchy Meal outside. Just waiting for my meal now, can't wait to try it. So this is what's in the Munchy Box. We got some curly fries, a taco, a brownie, and whatever this is. It looks like fried chicken with fries on a hot dog bun. I don't know what sauce that is, but that's a lot of sauce. So the first thing I'm going to try are these curly fries. I love curly fries, so I already know this is going to be good. The curly fries were super tasty and they're like the perfect amount of crunch. Now I'm going to try this. I'm kind of scared. Like I don't even know how to hold this or where to start. It just looks like a mess. Oh boy. The sauce is kind of spicy. I'm not sure what the orange sauce is, but I think the white sauce is ranch. It's pretty good, but definitely way too much sauce. Now my boyfriend's gonna try it. <laughs> it even smells kind of scary. Were the fries in here? Yeah. The struggle is real. This is the most sus hot dog bun I've ever seen. It's like a big ass hamburger bun, but it does have a line through the middle for some reason. That's so specific. Too much sauce. I mean, it's good, but I don't think I would want to eat this on purpose. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste bad. They should have just put the sauce on the side for the sandwich. The next thing I'm going to try is this taco. If this is like a typical jack-in-the-box taco, then I already know this is going to be good. It's not as good as the Taco Bell tacos, though. Yeah, it's just a regular jack-in-the-box taco. It's good though. Let me just get it all out the way, all right? Because this is not sponsored. I'm going to be honest with you. This shit's a flop. Because first of all, this is a regular taco, okay? Regular fries. Munchy meal is already a thing. Didn't see uh, one commercial, <laughs> one tweet, one anything. The only time I've seen this snoop munchy meal is when i pulled up to the jack-in-the-box and saw the little thing wheat pasted on the window regular munchy meal is like 10 11 dollars and this shit's like 14 plus tax which it kind of is a lot of food anyway but jack-in-the-box is supposed to be like one of the cheaper options i feel like so are you gonna eat it How are you going to review the taco before eating it? That shit's busted. That wasn't the taco review. That was the whole John review. You didn't even have the rest of the munchie meal yet. The last thing in this munchie meal or munchie box, whatever, whatever it's called, is this brownie. I've never had a jack-in-the-box brownie before. So let's see if it's good. I 
I mean, I don't hate it. Like, I like that it's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. It's really, really sweet though. And it feels really, really heavy. So I guess this combo has like two unique items in it, right? Mm -hmm. The spicy chicken tender hot dog and this brownie. Mm-hmm. Which I get the meme, like, brownies is supposed to be, like, a weed reference, but... As far as brownies go, that's a good brownie, but I don't like them in the first place. So I'm kind of biased anyway. What do you rate it? Just the brownie by itself. Just the brownie would be, like, a, a five. I like chocolate and I like chocolate flavored things, so I like brownies. 5 out of 10? Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, I would rate this Snoop's Munchy Meal a 6 out of 10. Maybe 6.5 because I, I see the creativity in the chicken hot dog sandwich thing. But everything else is just pretty regular jack-in-the-box munchy meal like the curly fries and the taco those are probably like the best part of the entire meal and that's just like a regular jack-in-the-box thing let me see did you show them the box yeah the box is just a regular box but they slapped on this snoops munchy meal sticker yeah so packaging is gonna have to be like one out of ten I mean, that's better than the Grimace meal. No, they had packaging. We just didn't get it. Mm -hmm. So packaging, I'll give it a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10. Because I love a good sticker. And then price, that's going to have to be a 2 out of 10 as well. Because like I said, you can probably get a better munchie meal for like $11. And even that's already pushing it. And then creativity, I'll give it like... A seven because the chicken tender hot dog thing is probably cool to y'all but we go to this like chicken place that we've already known about chicken tender hot dogs so we're used to that um and yeah as far as taste i mean and presentation overall like give me the fucking sauce on the side i don't like the way y'all smear it and it makes it all soggy and stuff and then but yeah the tender thing was good, but overall, like, you already know the fries are going to be good. You already know the taco is going to be good. The brownie was better than I expected, but I didn't want a brownie in my shit in the first place, so. Do with that what you will. What's, what's the average of all those numbers? Like a 5 out of 10. Also, when I was at Jack in the Box, I saw that they had these new chicken chipotle wraps, I think. Or I got the spicy version, so the spicy chicken wrap. And I'm gonna try that one for you guys too. So this is how it looks. Pretty mushy and limp. <laughs> this wrap is way better, like 10 times better than the, the chicken tender hot dog thing. Because it's not as soggy, and that's all I can say. It's not as soggy, but similar flavors. All right, it's cold. It's an uncooked tortilla. It's over sauced up as usual. <laughs> not as sauced up as the hot it's dog. It's the same tender as the hot dog, so let's give her a go. One thing I would say, though, is they did not wrap it good. They wrapped it so messily. It's not bad. It's the same as the hot dog. It's way better. And it's four dollars. Four dollars. This is a win for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this review, please like, comment, and subscribe.